If you love Chromebooks like we do you'll want to see these tips and tricks to make the most of them. Millions of people are using Chromebooks, but despite their simple and for everyone nature, not every powerful feature is easy to access. Every Chromebook, or Chromebox, is a powerful tool that's just waiting to be used to its full potential, and once you know a few tricks you'll feel like you're getting even more value out of your inexpensive computer. We've rounded up the top 10 tips and tricks for you to try on your own Chromebook so you can start making the most of your machine. Watch the video and enjoy. There are a lot of reasons to use third-party DNS, domain name server, or the sort of address book for the internet, when you're on the web. Some say they are faster, some claim they are more secure, and it's a great way to get around any silly content blocks that may be in place on the servers of the people who provide you your internet. Using them on your Chromebook is easy. Open the settings page, and click on the name of the network you want to change. In the window that comes up, choose the Network tab. At the bottom, you can choose which name servers to use. You'll see Automatic and Google options, or you can enter some manually if you know specifically what you want. There is a built-in overview mode on your Chromebook that lets you see every open window at a glance. If you've ever used a Mac, this is just like Expose. It's also just as useful. On the top row of the keyboard, just press the button above the 6 key or swipe down from the top with 3 fingers on your trackpad or touch screen to go into the overview. Clicking any of the thumbnails will open that window, and clicking in a blank space will return you to the last window you were viewing. If you find yourself with a lot of windowed apps running all the time, this is a great time saver. As a bonus, while in overview mode you can type to filter what you're seeing. For example, Typing Google will only show windows with the word Google in the title. By now you know that Chrome OS is full of handy keyboard shortcuts for things like reloading a page or going to your home page in the browser. In fact, there are so many it's almost impossible to keep track of them all. Finding out just what you can do so you know which ones to remember is easy. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus question mark and you'll see an overlay of the keyboard with all the key functions and shortcuts. Soon you'll be a pro and shift plus alt plus Ling and alt plus shift plus being all over the place. Part of the value of a Chromebook is in the extras you get along with your purchase. When you buy a computer running Chrome OS you don't just get a computer, Google throws some freebies your way as well. After buying your Chromebook and getting logged in, be sure to head to the Chrome Goodies page to pick up these offers. 60 day free trial to Google Play Music Call Access. 100 gigabytes of Google Drive space for free for two years. 12 free passes for GoGo in flight internet. The offers expire 60 days after you first associate a Google account with your Chromebook, so make sure to use them before they run out. The Google Play Music All Access in Google Drive deals can only be used once on any given Google account, but the 12 free GoGo passes are on a per device basis. Most Chromebooks offer an SD card slot of some kind, be it micro SD or standard. While the SD card slot is useful for transferring pictures off of your camera and getting them up to Google Drive or moving files between computers, for many people it may be most useful as semi-permanent external storage. Because you'll often have no more than 32 GB of internal storage, unless you feel like upgrading that yourself, on your Chromebook you may find yourself wanting more. Pop a 64GB SD card into your Chromebook and use it just like you would the local or Google Drive storage. The SD card shows up in the Files app just like another folder, where you can use it any way you'd like. When you first set up your Chromebook it feels like it's just locked to your own personal Google account, but one of the perks of Chrome OS is the ability for any machine to work with any Google account. When you're on the lock screen of your Chromebook, you can click sign out in the bottom left corner and let someone else sign in with their own Google account. They'll have no access to your main account, and all of their previous activity on any other Chrome device will be set up on this new machine in its own profile. If you just want to hand your Chromebook to someone else for a quick bit of research or something simple, use the guest mode from the lock screen. Nothing done in the guest mode will be tied to your Google account and everything will be completely erased as soon as the guest account signs out. 
if you'd prefer to lock down your Chromebook so only specific people, or just you, can sign in, head into the settings menu, and under the users area, you can restrict sign in on the device to only specific accounts. This one serves no purpose except to have fun. Open a window or two on your Chromebook and press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus Reload. All work and no play something something. You can take a screenshot on a Chromebook just as easily as you can on any other computer. Whether you need to save a piece of information for reference or just need to help someone out by showing something visually, it's extremely simple. Hold the control key and hit the task switching key to capture the screen. You'll get a desktop notification to click and view the screenshot, or you can always find later it by opening the files app. In the Omnibox type Chrome colon slash slash system to see a GUI filled with system information. You'll find everything there is to know about your CPU, your memory, your current X session and more here. It's all laid out in an easy to read fashion, and you'll know everything there is to know about your Chromebooks inside. We can't promise you'll understand everything you see in there, but whatever you need, or want, to know is given to you. Since it opens in a browser tab, searching Google for the parts you don't understand is easy. If you want to completely remove your Google account and information from your Chromebook and reset it to a like new state, it only takes two clicks of the mouse in the settings to use a feature called Power Wash. Go into your settings and search for Power Wash in the search bar or go to advanced settings and find it at the bottom. Click the button, then confirm, and your Chromebook will reboot momentarily looking just as it did the day you took it out of the box. Hopefully, after mastering these few tips and tricks you'll be using your Chromebook like a pro, and can maybe even help out another person or two who are getting acquainted with their own Chromebook. Share your preferred tips and tricks for your Chromebook in comments. To discover more technology content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S. Sorrels channel.